Hi, this is Mark Oliver Fischer of the Munich Digitization Center at the Bavarian Stack Library with a short screencast on the Sys Text and Error Profiler and Post Correction System. That is quite a mouthful, but it's also still a temporary name, so that will probably change soon. It was developed by Sys, the Center for Information and Language Processing at the LMU Munich, as part of the IMPACT project. The Sys tool, as I will call it from now on, is a system for the post correction of OCR results that consists of two parts an installable GUI that will be, re will be released as open source, the screenshots of which you can see here, and a web service working in the background for the creation of language and error profiles. More on their role in a moment. But first, a few words on why post correction of OCR results is necessary and why current solutions need to be improved. The thing is, OCR is getting better and better at recognizing historical texts, but it's still far from perfect. Some problems are the use of old typefaces like Gothic or Fractura script, words that are no longer in use, and historical spelling variations. At the same time, libraries are developing more and more application scenarios that rely on high quality full texts, so the cor correction of OCR results might soon become a necessity. Now, most current post-correction solutions work on a basis where the user has to correct word for word, line for line. It's certainly faster than retyping the test text, but when certain errors can be found over and over again in a text, which is pretty often the case, there is no way to correct them at once, which would speed up the process. Normally, you don't even get correction suggestions like you would in your favorite word processor. The Sys tool, on the other hand, offers correction candidates and two different batch modes to correct several errors at once, thanks to the profiles mentioned above. They are document-specific and are based on the OCR result of the document and statistical language models, so they are created without any user input or training. But what do the profiles actually do? Well, the language profiles contain information on the vocabulary of the source document, that is on the number of languages it consists of, how modern or historical the vocabulary is, and which spelling variations are common in the text. Some German examples would be a historical V for a modern U, or TH for T, which is of course a problem for an OCR engine, basing its results on a modern dictionary, and can lead to a lot of recognition errors. The error profiles, on the other hand, contain information on repeatedly misrecognized words and error patterns common in the text. For example, OCR software often has problems to tell apart the characters small e and c, an i and an l, or n and u, because for the software they just look too similar. Based on these profiles, the tool marks potentially misrecognized words and gives correction candidates on a word-for-word -word basis. You can see here the word Geschäfte, that is business, was, mis was recognized by the OCR with a c instead of the first e. Just as in a word processor, the red line shows that this is probably not correct, and a red click provides you with a list of correction candidates, of which one is the correct word, so you can quickly correct that. But that is still on a word-for-word -word basis. The real power of the tool lies in the two batch modes. The first batch mode allows correcting the most frequently misrecognized words of a given text. So what you get is a list with all the words the profiler thinks weren't recognized correctly by the OCR, sorted by frequency. Here you can see one of those errors. The word Frankreich, that is German for France, was recognized by the OCR with a Z at the beginning as Frankreich. In the batch mode, all occurrences of that word are listed together with the context, that is the words before and after, and a correction candidate, which is the correct one here, as you can see. Once you make sure that the profiler's result is correct, all you have to do is select all, correct, and that way, all occurrences of Frankreich are corrected throughout the whole text with just two mouse clicks. You can also see in this example that the correction candidate Frankreich is spelled with a CK. This is a historical spelling variation, in modern German you would spell it with a K only, that was correctly recognized by the Sys tool. The second, and in my opinion even more powerful batch mode, is one that allows correcting not on the basis of a given word, but of a particular recognition error. As I said before, OCR often has problems recognizing certain characters correctly. Here you see words where an N was recognized as a U. And again, you just have to check the list whether all errors were recognized by the profiler correctly, select some or all of them, and correct them with just a couple of clicks. That way, you can work your way through the whole text and correct it very efficiently. 
But how useful is the tool really? CIS conducted a small-scale evaluation where two groups of volunteers were tasked to correct the same texts. Both groups worked with the CIS tool, but for the first group, most of its special fe features had been deactivated, so all they could do was manually correct word for word. No profiles, no batch modes, no correction candidates. The second group, on the other hand, worked with the full set of features enabled. Even though the volunteers had not known the tool beforehand and had received only a short introduction, the second group, working with a full tool, corrected the text 2.7 times faster than the control group. Now, before I wrap up the screencast, I should mention that there are other usage scenarios for the profiles as well. With their document-specific knowledge, they could also be used to train, so to speak, a second OCR run of a text, which would then deliver better results than the first recognition without any user interaction. Or they could help in retrieval, that is, in finding words in a text. For example, when you're searching for the word Frankreich with a K, the search engine might know that in this particular text it's actually spelled with a CK and present you with the according search results. And that's it for today. If you want to learn more on the SysText and Error Profiler and Post Correction System, or on the Impact Project and Center of Competence in general, please visit us at digitization.eu. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.